On Easter Sunday, Father Mario and I were discussing the current situation with so many people suffering in the local area and even abroad and internationally. And we began to come up with an idea that maybe we thought would help them in some way, at least financially and spiritually. On Wednesday, April 29th, Father Mario and I, and then we grabbed the third priest, Father Sean Fogo, down at Our Lady of Sorrows. And we're gonna begin a 54 mile walk, a pilgrimage, to the Grotto in Emmitsburg. We will celebrate Mass together, which you will participate in if you wish. And we will start out and go 20 some miles and, and then come back. It's really hard to kind of stay overnight in people's places. And then on, on Thursday, we'll continue. And then Friday, we'll finish the walk in which we will celebrate a mass at the grotto somewhere. And the idea is twofold. First of all, we have an email that you can send your petitions, your prayers to, that we can actually receive and then we'll actually carry them with us on our way to the grotto. You can send us any petitions, any names, any concerns, and we will put them in our backpacks and carry them to the grotto place them there eventually at Our Lady's feet. Secondly, we have chosen three local charities to assist, well, two of them, and then one seems so local because we've all been involved in it. The first is the Catholic Charities Food Bank at the Mission with Father Mario. They do tremendous work in, in helping the poor and the needy. The second charity will be Mustard Seed Community, especially in Jamaica. Those folks have suffered terribly, the abandoned, the abused, and so a third of the money raised will go to help the, the poor there. And then Father Sean Fogo is, is starting a food pantry down at Our Lady of Sorrows, and Father Mario has a special need with the poor up at the mission, and we will split the money in those three ways. You'll be invited to participate. Anima Christi Retreats is gonna sort of host this experience because we want to reach out to as many people as we can to say, you know, now is the time to take our faith into the streets, to show people that we are in, in unity with the poor, the suffering, those that are struggling. I hope that, first of all, you'll participate by praying with us, by supporting us spiritually. Secondly, those of you that are able to, that would like to sponsor us in this walk, maybe it's something per mile or a pledge, all of that information is available on animachristiretreats.org. The point is that we must take our faith and express it to the world. And so let us unite together. During that time, you'll be able to walk with us as we share our story with you. God bless you. Have a great day. Spread the word as we start this journey. The theme of the walk, this little pilgrimage, hearts that are burning. We must be like the disciples after the resurrection of Christ. Their hearts were burning in their love for Christ. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, happy Monday, folks. As we gather, we continue this journey where God is walking with us. He's, he's moving with us. Remember, we're making our way to Pentecost Sunday where we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to breathe new life, to blow new life, to help us to go forth with great courage and grace and strength. So let's call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his forgiveness and his mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, 
all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the, holy, through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from them. Response. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them, he terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Response. The Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod, and you shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Response. May the words of the Lord be in my heart, on my lips, and may worthily and joyfully proclaim this holy gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man once grow old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, 
unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed what I told you. You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you cannot hear the sound it makes. But do, do you not know where it comes from or where it goes? So, that it, so it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. I've been praying these last few days about what it means to be bold and to be courageous and then comparing that to the concept of maybe being somewhat um, foolish and how to balance that tremendous trust in God and, and waiting on God's time to do those magnificent things that he invites us to do. I'm always amazed by the early church just how raw their emotions are. Notice Peter and John in the gospel today. It's just very evident that there was such rage and anger against them. There was such a, a disrespect for their proclamation of the name of Jesus. And yet at the same time, the Holy Spirit was manifesting this new life in them, this new grace, um, this new courage. And I was thinking to myself, it's very similar, I feel, to this experience that many are going through now where I think that the Spirit is blowing a new boldness, a new courage, a new strength to be faithful to what the Spirit is offering. I have a great concern, though, that a lot of us are kind of just settling into the new routine without a lot of hope and a lot of courage. We're just thinking that, will this ever end? And we're giving in to the emotion of this experience as opposed to battling the struggle with, against the struggle to be really just living in the beautiful name of Jesus, walking in that grace that God gives to us. We cannot be born again, per se. We've been born on our, on our birthday, and we were born to new life by the grace of baptism. And so I want you to Today, I want you to take some time to think of the day that you became a Christian, a Catholic, in the midst of a big family celebration, maybe. Maybe you were an adult convert. And something powerful happened there, is that you were given this boldness, this courage, that when maybe others are just surrendering to the fear of the physical realities that were taking place around them, you can stand like Peter and John, confident, confident on the day of the Lord, that God who is guiding us, that God who is leading us, will not abandon us. Remember what the scripture said, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and, the, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. As we celebrate this holy mass, as you place your worries, your fears on this altar, May I just beg you to invite the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come and give me a new boldness, a new energy to continue the race. Um, I always pray in the morning in my chapel while um, when I'm not sleeping in my chapel, but I always pray for the grace to be bold. And I ask the Holy Spirit many days to say, Lord, I don't know what you have for me, but I want to be courageous in doing it, and I want to give it all that I have. Stay with us, folks. Stay with us in the journey, because God is giving an abundant amount of grace to us to be bold. Blessed are those who take refuge in the Lord. For the church and all who serve in the church. O oh Lord, that we may be bold in proclaiming the messages of hope and faith 
to all God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, for a new boldness for all of our elected officials in communion with humility and trust in you, that the fire of the Holy Spirit will inspire them to lead their peoples by serving them, let us pray to the Lord. For a renewed boldness for all of the medical staff and first responders, whoever they may be, even in those experiences in supermarkets and elsewhere, that they will be protected and strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, for a renewed grace for all the little ones, those who have anxieties and fears, those with special needs for whom this is a very complicated time. For all of those, O oh Lord, who are in situations that are physically not safe, those in which people may be hurt in various ways, we pray to the Lord. Lord, I lift up to you all those with addictions today that they will be bold to remain strong, that they will be courageous to continue the fight of, sobri of sobriety. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those, Lord, who feel depressed, those who have reached out to ask for prayers, those who feel that this is too overwhelming for them, that they will ask the Holy Spirit to give them new strength this day, we pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, for our loved ones, for our friends, for the grace they, for, of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. God, our Father, hear our prayers and those in our hearts. We ask them through your Son, Jesus, through Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Okay, folks, so I want your petition, something along the lines of a new courage, a new faith, something renewing is in my heart to ask you to ask for today. Maybe a renewed to finish studies, a renewed for more patience with your kids, a new boldness, and just trusting that God will provide. But you have to ask the Lord for that grace. Blessed are you. Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbles himself. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and with contrite heart, may we accept it by you, O oh Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit and perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and live, lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, 
for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with every, with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, they sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, St. Andrew, St. Teresa of Calcutta, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. It's through him with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Folks, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Look with kindness <clears throat> upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. So, folks, as we continue through this journey together, let's be strong and Today, I just want you to really pray for that boldness, that new grace that God gives. Um, I always pray, Lord, renew me, renew me. And I, I just want you to ask the Spirit to renew you, whether you're working, retired, uh, whether you've got a crowd of folks in your house, whether you live by yourself. We must do this together. We cannot give up the journey, okay? The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God come upon you, the Father. Son and the Holy Spirit, go in the peace of Christ. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.